All right, everybody. So today we are going to take a look at the new Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition, Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons. So as you can see on the screen in front of you, we have broken up the box set into two modules that you can activate in your Fantasy Grounds library. And to access the modules, you would just click on the library. Library interface opens up here. Lower left-hand corner, click on modules. And then you would just go ahead and do a search for the modules that you want. It takes a little bit longer for me to load up the module interface because I have every single possible module uh, for D&D 5th edition. So you can just use the search box down here and you'll be good to go. Load in the D&D uh, &D versus Rick and Morty. Uh, the adventure that comes with the box set, it is called The Lost Dungeon of Rickedness. And then there is also a 64-page book that has also been converted, uh, and it is here. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the, the rule book first. And it would pretty much be the same thing as in what was in the starter box set or the essentials box set. Uh, or the free PDF download that you can get from the Wizards of the Coast website with the basic rules. So what uh, our conversion specialist, Zacchaeus, he does all of the, most of the D&D 5th edition stuff. Uh, we put reference manuals in here, and a reference manual is like a PDF. Uh, and it, it's really nice. I mean, you know, you can eliminate going into the story journals on the, on the right-hand side. And if you want, you can just hold down Control and open up the reference interface. Uh, that's what I like to do. And you can just, uh, you have navigation buttons here on the bottom. You can go forward and back. And this is just like, it has all of the art in the appropriate spots, etc. You can click on the images, you can right click on the image, and you can share them with your players, etc. Uh, it's really nice. And like I said, it's just like reading a PDF page for page. Uh, the reference manuals are, are a beautiful thing in Fantasy Grounds. And then you can see that it has everything uh, for the uh, rules book broken, uh, broken up by chapter. And then as you can see, as you open up chapter one playing the game, it has everything. And you, if you want to say, oh, okay, let's, sh let's check out what advantage and disadvantage is, you just click on that. And here's everything you need to know about advantage and disadvantage. Chapter 2 is all about combat. Chapter 3 is all about adventuring. Chapter 4 is all about spell casting. Then you got your spells. Uh, Zacchaeus has broken it up uh, in alphabetical order. <clears throat> so if you want to see all the spells, A, here they are. Aid and augury. G, guidance. Guidance bolts. Beautiful thing. Here's your conditions as, it, uh, as an appendix. Oh, my appendix or appendices, however you want to say it. Here's your conditions. Uh, appendices two. What is the <laughs> effing point? That's that's interesting. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> the rules don't mean blank. <laughs> that's I guess that's Rick and Morty. I've never watched that before. So, but there you go. Appendices C is the, the dungeon master screen. Uh, so, so obviously you're not going to get the physical uh, DM screen that's in the box set. So what what uh, we've done is broken up the four panels and put those here, and you can actually click on those and enlarge the uh, the pictures so you can see them really nice. And then at the end, all of the credits. So this is the uh, reference manual for the rule book. You'll also notice that it has any kind of critical fail tables. Uh, any kind of surprise tables, anything, any kind of tables that are in the books, they're going to be converted into a table, a rollable table uh, in Fantasy Grounds. So if you're going to, if you have a critical fail, you roll a one, uh, all you would do is just click the roll button or drop it into the chat box and it'll generate it for you and, and it'll tell you what you do. So all your hair falls out. Yes, even down there question mark that's interesting rick and morty is interesting for sure <laughs> so that's <is> all <laughs> all of the equipment i guess it'll save you some razors 
all of the images and you can share these with your with your players as well it has all of the spells for cleric and we're broken up uh, by spell level for your clerics and your wizard spell list Now there's uh, the adventure, which is D and D versus Rick and Morty, the Lost Dungeon of Rickedness. And here it is again. We've built a reference manual for you, just like reading a PDF. I always like to open this up. I just you can use a drag handle, but I just hold down control. And you can you can just go ahead and use the navigation bars at the bottom and and read the adventure. I mean, it's it's simple as that. Look at the size of that map. That's a that's a that's a beautiful map. Big old map. Bunch of rooms. Looks like there's what 39 locations. Yeah, it looks like 39 locations. All of the uh, locations are already put on uh, story uh, journals for you. All of the encounters are are built up for you. Uh, you just all you have to do is just click on the storage room. There you go. Then you just click on the token. And voila, uh, it opens up the map for you. Nice little trick that uh, a lot of people don't know. And look at that. It puts the Sturges in the room for you already. So the encounter parcels, item parcels are a beautiful thing. They're already done for you. It saves you a lot of time. And you can just navigate this. It's broken up in the, in the section as well. There's a, an appendices in the back with a... Ooh, Potion of flying, potion of healing, ring of protection. Everybody's one of everybody's favorite magic items, ring of protection. Ooh, the winged boots. Ah, ha, ha. the wand of magic missiles. Great magic items in uh, Rick and Morty. So there's a reference manual. Uh, you're going to get two of them, one for the rule book, one also for the adventure. And then here you go. Here's all the encounters. I mean, there's 39 rooms. So there you go. They're all broken up for you. Even even the boss room at the end with the yo oh, the young green dragon. That's going to be good. And you can see all of the uh, attacks and everything have been built for you. So all you do is you just hit the, the bite attack or the damage. You just drag and drop them on the tokens on the map. It'll tell you if it hit or misses. Uh, it, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful thing. So here are uh, random encounters. So here's a writer's room with 1d8 Sturges. So you'll just generate it and look at that. And it creates an encounter for you. And then there's four of them. So out of d8, it uh, rolled four. And then you would just go ahead and pick up each one of these tokens and place them on the map for your random encounter. Uh, and that's a good thing. So pre-generated characters are right here. And to actually, to access those uh, as a player, you just click on your PCs in the upper right-hand corner here, and you'll just import this. And any kind of box set, any kind of ma uh, module that has pre-generated characters, you'll be able to find those in the import character. So you just, uh, you know, just click it, open it up, just open up the interface a little bit, hold down control, and it'll tell you uh, there's Ari Strongbow, Keth Silverson, Lion Amaranthea, Kier Bravin, and Meatface. I wonder if Meatface is an orc. Let's see if Meat. I bet you. I bet you Meatface may be an orc. But but anyway, you just uh, you just hit the add character, and it looks like Meatface has been added. Is Meatface? No, he Meatface is a human. Wow. I was wrong on that. So anyways, if they're, you know, whatever module the pre-generated character is from, it'll tell you where it's from. And you, you know, save some time, use a pre-generated character. Has all of your images and maps, etc. All the art that's in the book. Here's all of the items. Here's all of the, the monsters, the NPCs. All of the spells, magic missile. But remember, they're also in the reference manual as well, broken up into class by cleric or magic user, or I'm sorry, wizard. Uh, here's all of your, your story journals. 
All of your rollable tables, fart gas. Look at that. I like that. What is that about? I like that. Let's, let's roll on the... F Blindness. Something spicy, and that fart leaves the creature blinded for 1d4 rounds. <laughs> nice. I like it. So all of the tables are in there as well, and all of your parcels. So everything is... All the work has been done. All of the leg work has been done, and all you do is just drag and drop this stuff. So it's a good thing. Now... You can also access all of this content, the items, the NPCs, the spells, etc., on your sidebar buttons on the right-hand side. So if you want to access the items, just click on the items, and then you can use the group drop-down box and look for Rick and Morty. And voila, there's everything that's in the Rick and Morty. Or you can go to all, and it'll have everything alphabetical order 15 uh, 50 items per page so there you go that is uh dungeons and dragons versus rick and morty the lost dungeon of rickedness so if you guys have any questions about rick and morty uh are you guys gonna try rick and morty it seems like they're uh it seems like they're out of the box a little bit which is uh i like that They've, they've got some, uh, you know, humor with it. So I, I like that. So what do you guys think of Rick and Morty? Are you guys going to try it? Are you guys going to fire up some of those uh, pre-generated characters and, and play a, maybe a couple of uh, sessions and go through that 40-room dungeon? You can pick this up on the Fantasy Grounds store or Steam. It's $29.99. And it's for D&D 5th edition. And it's by Wizards of the Coast. And thank you very much for watching the video. And if you have any kind of uh, questions or comments or anything, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. So until next time, happy gaming. Stay safe and keep using the awesome Fantasy Grounds Virtual Tabletop Program. Bye-bye.